I have with me Kasmira Nasingara Chige. She is a youth climate activist and also an environment psychology consultant, a very interesting part uh, of uh, psychology. And also there is uh, lots and lots of uh, uh, crazy happenings of, uh, around the world, uh, especially like climate is uh, climate changes are just completely abnormal, if I may put like that. Uh, Kasmi, in your field and your perspective towards that, how do you feel these changes are happening across the world uh, and affecting especially uh, the youth uh, of our globe? Thank you. I think that's a very important uh, thing to discuss as to how it's affecting the youth. Um, as of now, throughout this whole year, we've seen we've seen multiple climate crises from the hottest uh, records in the world to flash floods to severe droughts and it affects youth because that this is where this is where we live this is our future it's also this is also an anthropogenic climate change which means human made human caused climate change so when it comes to that, the youth knows that. The youth is aware of the fact that this was a human-caused climate disaster, which means that as the youth, we ourselves have to find solutions for the problems that our older generations have caused so far. And this creates a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustrations, and a lot of disappointment when it comes to thinking about our future. But we should not be having these forums and having these um, uh, platforms to talk and discuss how we can overcome these things. It, it helps us encourage and it helps us overcome things such as climate anxiety that's affecting the youth. And also, how do you feel about uh, the probably the largest summit uh, in Sri Lanka after COVID-19 and the pandemic? How has, been, how has this been a platform for you to share knowledge with the global participants across 30 plus countries from the Asia Pacific. How has that been? Have you made any new uh, connections uh, to, to you know foster and reach out towards the future youth uh, of uh, our country and of course uh, the world? Yes, definitely. I have found a, a group of youth uh, people that are really passionate about the climate uh, and our environment and saving the societies that they live in. And one thing is that, especially Asia Pacific, we're all affected and we're all vulnerable to the effects of climate change more than the developed countries so far. And so this is why we have to connect with each other and strengthen our forces in order to be climate resilient and ensure that we adapt with the climate and make sure that we ourselves can um, empower each other and in ensuring that we ourselves have um, protect the earth as it is. <laughs> 